day 16, grasping at straws. So, um, <laughs> I talk a little bit about the law of attraction. And I do believe it's a real thing. Um, you have to focus on things and you'll get them manifested. But sometimes things don't go as you, as you want them to go in the time frame you want them to go. I mean, in my perfect world, my phone rang yesterday and she'd be on the other end saying, hey, I love you and I made a big mistake and all that stuff. But the reality is, is that, um, you know, it is only day 16. Um, she might still be deep in her stuff. She might be exploring a new relationship with a new guy. I don't know. Um, we don't move in the same social circles and she doesn't have Facebook and um, very private person that way. To her credit. Uh, because a woman has a challenge, you know, she's changing men every year, which some women do. Best to keep it more on the down low. Um, but anyway, so, uh, there's a guy named Robert Zank on YouTube. He's a miracle mentor. And, uh, you know, he's very convicted in what he does. But he says, nine signs your ex is on your way back to you. And one of them is, um, you start saying her name everywhere. It's just hilarious. Yesterday I had two customers and a romantic interest. Because I've got my name on a, a dating site. All Sarah's spelled the same way. And, uh. So it's like, oh, this is a sign. It's going to be coming back to me ASAP. And you know what? If that's it, true, great. But I think you start looking for um, the, the American financial crisis when, when things were turning around, or at least perceived to be turning around. They always talked about green shoots. I may have talked about that a little bit earlier as far as Oh yeah, remember, if you remember, I had said, oh, she took down her dating profile. Which in my mind either means she's taking time to heal. Because she's got her kids there. And all of a sudden some new dude shows up. I can't help but think that her kids would be like, what? And her family too. Because she always said her family sort of scrutinized her a little bit. Like her extended family. But even to take down your dating profile, just after putting out for just a bit. I don't know, the guy must be pretty desperate. Because, uh, you know, when I was, when we were dating, I, I didn't care if she left it up because I was, I knew I was the best there was. And again, I think that as the future pulls ahead here, I know she's going to realize I'm the best there is. But it's easy to grasp with straws. And, uh, you know, if you're in the middle of this, you know, you start thinking that as well. And it's important that you maintain your, this is a situation that you cannot control. Um, you know, I'm the only, the only element of this situation that I'm trying to control, or not trying to control, but trying to influence is, um, doing my manifestation exercises because I would like to manifest her back in my life. Um, you know, I, just as much as you visualize having anything, it all starts with a, um, a mental concept because I believe our, our mind has a mental energy that allows us to do this kind of thing. Um, now that being said, I know I attracted her once since she was in my life, so I know that she's attracted to me. It's just that whatever shit has gone on in the last few months has pushed her away, and part of it's my shit. And I think some of it is her fear of commitment. Um, you know, just that's the bottom line. Um, you're not supposed to psychoanalyze your girlfriend when you're with her, but when I'm not away from her, I, I do definitely see that that fear of commitment was real. But, um, yeah, it's, um, it's an interesting thing. But as I said, you can grasp the straws left, right, and center, and it uh, definitely is something that you have to watch out for. Anyway, not a huge long video today, guys. Um, not a lot to say. But grasping the straws is definitely what's going on. Thanks, guys.